Hey everybody, Joe here. Today we're going to be checking out a TF2 weapon generator. Along with that, we're going to be rating them on a tier list. Now, if the weapon is pretty terrible or is a little missing, a little ambiguous, I'll try and clear it up as best I can and then rate it based off that. So, I already tested it once, so let's give it a whirl. New secondary for the spy. Increased air strength and control, and a deploy speed of 34%. So, and then your penalty is minus 2 HP per second after not healing or not killing an enemy for 70 seconds. That's unique. So basically, you would have to be doing your job as spy within a minute and some minute and 10 seconds. Otherwise you'll start bleeding and constantly shimmering. I don't think that's too bad of an idea, but I don't think the pros outweigh this con of that. Like, that air strafe control could be really good and a faster deploy speed for the Invis-Watch, I'm pretty sure just means... I'm going to interpret this as it means you cloak faster. So I'm going to have to say it goes at, it's below average. The con's pretty bad, and that air strafe control might be okay. You might get a couple trick stabs off, but for the average player, it's below average. Fucking next! <laughs> New melee. This first, the first hit will apply great knockback on the enemy, and your downside is air strafe, ooh, as a soldier, you need air strafe and control because you're going to need it for mobility reasons. And this just basically means you get the ool pool for the soldier without as many as the downside, sure. But it seems to be more like a concussive blast than a damaging blast. So I think maybe it just knocks them back far away. So it could be a great escape tool, but it doesn't seem like a great offensive tool so great for utility not so great for fighting so number two unfortunately it's not that good another the new ula pool for the demo man you'll get 21 max health you get great knockback on the enemy so another concussive blast weapon this pair is great with that last one except for on miss you Swing slower. Okay. I want to think now that it's super heavy. Like, it has this big charge on the end of it. So, if you miss, it takes longer for Demo to get it ready to swing again. But, yet again, this is just another below average. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get why we're getting below averages. There we go. There we go. See this right here. Oh. A new secondary for a soldier. When active, it provides group buff that slowly heals nearby teammates. Okay, so a dispenser. Charges 36% faster and can see the HP of enemies, but you bleed after not healing or not killing an enemy for 29 seconds. I see. Okay. This is actually okay because if you use the, the black box, you could negate that con by just dealing damage and healing yourself because that counts as self-healing but it's a healing type I have to say this seems pretty okay this would actually not do too bad number four it's okay it's not that bad it's not the greatest but it's definitely not going to be winning any medals Roof sappers in a single hit Heals up to 3 HP while not taking damage, but minus 40 max health. That's actually pretty bad. In some senses. You can't survive a direct pipe anymore. Because, let's see, 125 minus 40. You're only at 85 health. Which means a single pipe will kill you. A direct hit rocket will kill you. 
So that minus 40 health is aggressive, but the bonuses are actually not that bad. Because it doesn't say it ramps up. Oh, it does say heals up to 3 HP. So it starts off at 1 to 2 to 3 and removes sappers in a single hit. So this seems like a great defensive engineer, like an engineer that relies a lot on his buildings. Because with that sappers in a single hit, you're not going to be too forward focused. You're going to be focused on your buildings more. So this is, it's okay. Honestly, not the worst. Not the best, but not the worst. New melee for sniper. <gasps> Deals alt fire. Launches a projectile that deals mini crit damage. Increased chance of random critical hit mini crits whenever it would normally crit. Okay, this... I'm just gonna... Uh, let's get the ambiguity out of the way. It's going off in the cane section. Because it gives you a better chance of a crit, but it only mini crits and has a damage penalty. And I'm assuming because it's using the Rap Assassin. He uses the Rap Assassin ball. And while mini crit damage is okay, that's not enough to make up for that downside of it literally just does not crit anymore. Another melee for the sniper. Alt fire that slows enemies. Ah. On hit plus 9% more damage when attacking from behind the enemy. Decreased air strike control and minus 24% ammo on all weapons. This seems okay. This seems like a good uh a good weapon to use when somebody's like closing the distance on you. And it doesn't say it has a reduction of damage from the kukri, so it seems like a pretty good side grade because you lose the ability to like damage strafe and get out of bad situations, and you're losing some of your ammo. But in exchange, you're getting a projectile that helps you escape from bad situations or helps you sneak up on somebody and deal some extra damage from behind. For that, this goes into pretty decent. This is the only pretty decent so far because. All the bonuses it gives you, it's not too bad of downsides. It doesn't oppress the sniper too hard if he uses this. So, near secondary for medic. 3,300% faster control point capture rate. Heals teammates near the mega on target for 9% of the target healing. 22 max health, 45% faster. But your uber charge is less and you heal 11% less HP per second. Okay, this is a funny idea. It basically acts, because with that 300%, it puts a whole six people on the point, which is two people. Because 100% would give you another person, and two, and then, actually three, so it's three people on a point, if I recall. So yeah, you basically have a lot of push power with this. With just that alone, you are basically going to kick some ass. Take points real quick with this. That 22 max health is also pretty nice. And the deploy speed and the heal teammates near it, that's actually really cool. It basically makes it so you're like you're a mini dispenser. That's great for pushing. But because you're sacrificing the uber, you have to give up something for that power. And that less health healing basically means that it's basically going to round up to about one or two health per second for the entire group that's near it, the heal gun target. But that's not too bad. Like, getting a little bit of healing is great because then it helps refresh teammates, get, get them ready for the next fight, and everything else. So this is pretty decent. It's going up there in the tier. On headshot, 60 damage, but minus 46 damage if even one bullet missed the enemy. So it uses standard pellets, but if you can land a whole headshot, well, if you can land the whole thing on somebody and the headshot damage, ooh. This is a, like, a lot like the Ambassador, but without that recharge mechanic. However... This right here, this whole minus 46%, 
because of how Valve translates damage numbers and everything, I imagine if somebody gets hit behind even, that's still pretty good. So basically do it if you're jumping at somebody downwards and you got two enemies lined up, if you hit all of the pellets, you're still gonna get that plus sixty percent damage. Without taking the minus forty six percent. So I accidentally created a new tab there. Number nine. OP is sin because this thing if you are getting headshots it will negate the minus 46% it will be still a straight upgrade so this straight upgrade for the engineer you would be better off using this than any other shotgun other than the Widowmaker or rescue you ranger really so pick your poison but it's better than a panic attack technically so New weapon. Okay, there's that 27% damage on headshot. On hit, you move slower. On hit. But, oh, when you're not attacking from behind and you move slower. I would imagine this would be pretty unique because for the heavy, he needs that movement speed to stay behind the enemy. However, because it doesn't have like that closer spread... Of the Tommy Slav, it's a lot harder to maintain that 27% headshot damage. But because you're hitting them constantly, you're just stacking that three second. And with that three second timer constantly being stacked, there's two ways we can take that though. We can take it as it will always apply three seconds no matter what. If you hit them, before the three seconds is up, it just refreshes the three seconds. If that's the case, it's pretty decent. If it constantly stacks at three seconds, good God, that's OP a sin. Because you'll be basically stuck moving super slow and any sniper could pick you off. As for the walking speed, it basically looks like you're trading your, your hit damage slowing people for your own speed. That's pretty cool. We're going to put this as pretty decent. Oop. Yep, pretty decent. That's right. It's pretty decent all around. And for gags and laughs, let's just try one god tier weapon. <laughs> Makes enemies unable to switch for 12 seconds. Crits whenever we're normally meant to crit. Heals up to 3 HP and then crants teammates. Faster fire rate to both, so you and your teammate for four seconds. That's pretty good, actually. Actually, uh, heals up to six HP per second while not taking damage, and heals six HP per connecting bullet. Okay, if you got rid of this top part, actually, like the whole heals up to six while not taking damage and just have it say heal six HP but cause you to bleed for two seconds on miss. And because this has bullet and not pellet, I'm going to interpret it as you, you're basically firing slugs with this thing. So it's basically like a short stop, but it's whole bullets. That's a pretty cool idea now that I think about it. Because it treats it like a shortstop Boston Basher where, sure, you can heal, but there's the risk you take a lot of damage on a miss. So this seems like a good skill-based weapon, but not a great, you know, all-rounder. So if I had to put it, it'd go in pretty decent tier. <laughs> Okay, I think we're done here. So that's the tier list. Go through the video and watch it back. See what you liked. See what you didn't like out of these weapons. Comment what you got. Because those were some pretty f wacky weapons. Like, meh. <gasps> oh. Oh, Lord. Because <laughs> these are some pretty wacky weapons here. But other than that, I hope you all have a good day. Or a good night wherever you are. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.